Hey guys, let's look at number 12, integer to Roman. So the Roman num numerals, numerals are represented by seven digit symbols, I, V, X, L, C, D, I equals one. Yeah, I know that uh, there will be special cases for four, I think. So like, uh, so one is I, uh, two is double I, three is triple I, four, but four is I, V, uh, right? Okay, for 10, uh, X, 11, xi, xii, x triple i, xiv. Okay, so we need to divide a function which accepts a number integer and transform it into Roman. Uh, example: three triple i four iv uh, nine ix. Oh, okay, iv and ix. Eight a forty-eight. So a forty-eight. So first the eight is VI and then L is 50. So, uh, well, it's actually it's very straightforward. But first, I think we need to create a map. We we are uh, transforming the numbers into symbols. So there, I think there will be a map called a one I a five. We can use a new map. It doesn't change that much, I think. Anyway, we use map. New map. I. I. V. Ten. It says that it will not be uh, overflowed. So, so uh, let's get the digits from the right to the left and just uh, sum them up. And uh, we get the last digit. So, okay, get the last digit. Generate the result. Okay, so okay. Uh, well, nums is bigger than zero. Get last digit. While we get last digit, we need to get the base, right? So, um, was one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we need to hand in the last. If last is smaller than uh, four, then the result is very simple. Let's paste the result. Paste the result. On shift, I, 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 right? <coughs> uh, no, so yeah, K equals last. Well, K is bigger than zero. We should. And because uh, it's last is three, we should end at zero. So k minus equals one. Hmm. For this, I think we can write in a better way. It's four. We have k. K 
3 equals last k is bigger than 0 k minus 1 uh, result now shift it should for base 1 it should be i raised 10 it should be x c so uh, shift uh, lab okay so the the number should be base, right? So the base. Okay. Now I'll say last equals five. Then result uh, shift map get base times five. Else if last is smaller than uh smaller than nine. Again we should let this K should be bigger than five. Bigger than five. <laughs> yeah, if it is eight, eight, seven, six, so it'll be three. Okay. So get base. Mm, that's right. And then the result on shift this <coughs> and uh, else so it should be 9 <coughs> if that's the case we just read uh, result on shift Got four, sorry. I'll say if last equals four. Results on shift. Just pushed IV, right? IV or XL. So it should be on shift I uh, is map get base, map get base times five. On shift, if it's nine, on shift. Uh, map get base it should be straight operator here base map get base times 10 and uh, don't forget to times up to the base finally Return the result, join uh, the code. Wow, it's the time minute exceeded. Ah, God. to update the num yeah it seems to work cool it's work and I don't think there is any we need to improve it it's just a yeah we just need to solve it according to the uh, definition but anyway it's uh I think it's uh, you need to to know to know how to handle this uh, transformation. The usual, according to my understanding, the usual case is that to get always get the last number and sum them up, the base or sum up the results. Yeah, something like this. So okay, see you next time.